hi all uh, this is rahul so here in the stack overflow there was a question on how to make a ui custom view uh, and uh, so that reusable it can it can be reused in all the most most of the view controllers so i will give a small demonstration of how to do that let me first in the view controller in the storyboard i will take a uh, ui view in the ui view I'll take a view and I will drag it drop maybe in the center of the view of my storyboard that means the view controller then I will uh, maybe the height and weight I will set it and uh, I will set the auto layout so now I will leave it like this then I will go to the my uh, group name and I will create two files there one file will be the UI view custom uh, custom class so I named it as uh, the custom view so you can name it anyways uh, it's your uh, naming convention convention thing and the second file I will create is um, new file I will create it as a uh, this XIV uh, this one UI view XIV I, I have given the same name you can if you want you can take it as a different name it's your full choice but it's better to give the same name to the custom view and uh, xiv then uh, once it's uh, once we have done it i will do the in the custom view dot xiv you can see the view is created so in the view the size the freeform i will take the size as the size as the freeform size as the free form and then I will do it as the I will take a text field take a text field and drag and drop it there I will change it to a then maybe I will take it as a text view and uh, reduce the size of it and I will take a button so it's uh, give the all the controls of a uh, the, how to do it so I will set maybe the auto layout for everything as a fixed edge I will set it as a fixed edge okay so I will set it as a fixed edge I have uh, set the auto layout it's a same thing to just a demonstration so now uh, let me go to the file owner now we have this is the main important part don't never go to the UI view and set the class to your custom view never do it because uh, since uh, when you will uh, reinitialize it then it will come to the continuous loop because the init with decoder will be getting called every time and uh, it will uh, it will be a continuous loops uh, so it will go on continuously doing that so better to do in the file owner so this file owner is the uh, what the file owner of the UI view so set the file owner class to your custom view the custom view is the class this custom view is uh, this is the this swift file okay so now it's created now you uh, now I will go to the view and I will go to the select uh, the selector and then this is the custom view that I have created a class the Swift class then I will drag and drop each and each one of them I will drag and drop a text field and uh, I will maybe I will, I will write the name as a text field like this and uh, then I will write the name as a text view and I will draw drag and drop a text view and last is maybe the button I will drag and drop a button and sometimes I we need a uh, accent for a button button should have the accent so I will go to the action I will choose maybe the type as UI button only so I will type as the button clicked as the accent so here maybe I will write the name as I will 
do a action as maybe then I'll press the button. I will do the text field dot text. I'll change it to equal to uh, B. Okay, so this is the small thing. Okay, so now let me see whether it is done or not. Okay, I will remove this. It's no, of no use. So let me see whether it's done or not. Let me run the code in the simulator and uh, you can see it's a blank screen. I'll tell you why. To run the simulator, simulator takes a little bit of time to run. It's launching. It's launched. So you can see a blank screen. see a blank screen there you will not see a storyboard uh, button a viewer why it's happening it is happening because you have initialized everything here but I have initialized everything here but I have not initialized the view I don't know the what is the view of this this custom view I, I have not initialized linked with the custom view class I have only linked the custom view components to the custom view class since the owner of the file is there so how to do it so best so only thing only thing that I have to write is I will go to I will write it as init with decoder since init with decoder means since I am reading it from my uh, uh, view controller storyboard so you, you have to write init with decoder if you want to read it from uh, uh, the uh, programmatically then you can write your own function maybe init with frame or any function you you can write to initialize the frame so initialize the view so I will write an init with decoder and I will just I have just copied one code and, and I will tell you what's it is okay this code will help in this code will help in the initializing the your view this view okay so what this code is doing first it, it will take a bundle okay this bundle is of type self self means that this is the owner of the file nib is the custom view custom view is the this xib the xib is different name is a nib also okay so you can uh, you can nib and xib is a different the same thing you can tell us the nib name and the xib name okay then the third is i am initializing this view here okay so you can see uh, the this zero is the, is the first object in the in a custom view there can be multiple objects also i am taking it there here it is one object only I can if you want I you can take multiple objects there here this is the one object here so if, if you want you can drag and drop multiple objects but uh, so this is one object so I have taken as zero if you want a multiple object you can take it as one two three anything okay so this is a frame uh, the bounce is uh, the this view bounce okay and uh, this is the auto resizing you can do anything um, so to auto resizing mask for the fixed flexible width there if you want it to be the width and height to be flexible so then you can do it and I, I am adding this view to the custom view okay this is this is my this custom view has its own view okay so this in, in, in that view I am adding the this view this view is the custom view okay so I am returning that view so it's a simple thing now I will load it I will call this function load view from nib it will give me a warning since it's returning UI view I am not returning it okay sorry that sorry for that first I have to inside a super super dot init with decoder a yeah, decoder yeah so it will tell it will be a res, uh, result to the call of NS load view nib is unused okay since it's returning a view okay so if you want I will take it as let suppose this equal to this. Let's say I don't want to use it just basically. Okay. Now I will go to the view con storyboard. Okay. In the storyboard I have declared a, a view there. This view I have declared. So I have taken it. Okay, maybe I will take it as a different color but now you are seeing this color when the view will loaded it will be uh, in color so I am just want to recognize it that where is the view so 
the database i will make this as the this color and make this as a white only so that this one also okay so this view i will uh, take it here i will go to the class and i will write it as a custom view okay now i will run the code again see there is some sort of uh, since the area is less this uh, height I have, I have make it fixed so uh, maybe it will cut from the bottom this auto layout and all so see it just came in but if I want to do it I will make the to I change the height to suppose 300 yeah and the width also I will change it to maybe 240 so you can do maybe uh, 280 so now I will say I will look at it um, you can see the view it came but it had came to the top not getting its problem so I will go to the XI view maybe the storage this view has created some problem here so let me do the auto layout clear constant this one I will take it as a line I'll set it okay so it is very high I will make this like this make this also and this bottom also I will make it bigger since I was setting the auto layout like that uh, the constant I was setting from the leading and trailing so it was uh, and it's uh, total width was also I think uh, 375 yeah the width was 375 so it was compressing that full so maybe that was the reason let me see I will take it as UI label and I will make the height as a constant this one I will take it as 5, 16, 17 and the bottom one bottom I will take it as this and height as a constant okay so now let us see what's the problem what output is yeah that's it that was the auto layout problem so now you can see uh, now if I click the button then it will the A will become that A in the text field will become B so I click the button it will become this so it's fully working so uh, this the, by this way you can create your own custom views and you can now you can reuse the view anywhere in your uh, any view controllers you don't have to create multiple storyboard multiple view controller in time and uh, uh, better way for uh, the best way that I have seen many of them have to do it I will do I will tell you one more thing is the uh, the IB designable okay so you can create a view and you can make the view as IB designable and you can take some property which would be IB inspectable so in that property you can change how to uh, you can set from the storyboard only that the uh, how, what will be the property what will be the value for those properties so like if you go to the view and uh, you are set. You are changing like this. You, you uh, this. Uh, these are the property. These are Apple default things, obviously. But this is the same way. This this is the IB design IB is inspectables, and this is the IB designables. Button is a class, and the class name has to be IB designable, and these are the properties that are IB is inspectable. So how to create that? Uh, in my uh, create your custom IB designable class and IB inspectable class inspectable property. I will tell you in my next video. Thank you guys.